right there. Okay, so now we got that. Good. Looks good. Looks good. All right. So now, all right. So now that all these are flowing off of him. I'm going to go ahead and add a uh, a bitmap to it. So I'm going to bring in my grunge texture. Put that at the bottom. Actually, it's got to be above my blue layer. All right. So we got that. Um, See, that's the outline. That's my solid. Okay. Good. Let's set this to normal. See how that looks now. Let's keep it as an add. Okay. So now, since our particles are all on this layer, oh, one other thing we got to change in the in the particle track code, we have to change this transfer mode, which to an add. Get that in there. Okay, that's good. That, that's where we get the shininess from. Okay, so I think we got everything. Everything looks good. Maybe add a little bit more life, make the trail a little bit longer. Alright, good. That, that looks pretty cool. Okay, so now we did that. Now what we got to do is take the solid, okay, we got to turn off this little lock here for this layer thing. Turn off the little lock, just click it and you'll see the little lock go away. We need to select um, the solid that has the particles, which is this one. We need to hold the control key. We gotta select this one, which you know, little with the little light bulb. That's our layer emitter. And we have to select the uh, outline layer, which is this one. This is the or this is the one the the uh, particle emitter is using. So we have to select these three. Now we go to layer, and we're gonna pre-comp these. Make sure you move all attributes. Okay. So now we'll turn that back to an add layer, and we have to bring our body above that layer. Okay, so now we're back. We got the precom here. Now we can use that as our displacement map. You can't use it as a displacement map until you precomp it. So we're going to go to our. Let me turn off this solid so it doesn't confuse you. So basically, um, what we're left with is the main layer, which is the dude. And then underneath we have our particle layer, our particle precomp, which is an add layer. And underneath is just our background. Now for our background, we're going to go right click or click it, right click, go to effect, go to distort, displacement map. Then we're going to go select our precomp, select luminance, luminance, wrap pixels. All right, and then we just play with our um, our displacement as usual, and it, you'll notice it's going to look pretty darn cool. I mean, once you add that displacement to it, and then play it back, I mean, it's amazing. It's it's a really freaky look. Spe you know, this I think works really good with colors when you have colors on. All right, so I'm going to get this, and of course the background, you know how all that displacement works. Okay, so what we could do also is add another layer. Let's duplicate our pre-comp. Let's go ahead and click duplicate, and this way we can get more glow showing. I'm going to change this to normal, I think, and bring the add layer possibly above. Yeah, there we go. This way we get more color, and we still have the add layer. So the normal's doing that, bringing in some color, and the add is just bringing in, making it even brighter, deeper colors. All right, so now let me show you the difference between displacement. As you can see, of course, displacement, you will notice uh, a lot more when uh, it's rendered. You know how that works. Uh, I'm trying to get a good displacement value here. And then I'll go ahead and uh, pause this and then do a preview for you so you can scope it out. Okay, I'm going to pause it and I'll preview it. Alright, we should be back. Um, as you can see, I'm previewing it now. You can see the particles are flowing off of him. Got the displacement all in there.
colors are going with them. They're all flowing with them. It's just like a totally different uh, kind of a trail. I think it's awesome looking. You know, it's it's just like a, it's got like an ink look to it. That CC Vector Blur makes it all inkish looking. And of course, this is all the look of this. You know, if you don't like the as many swirls in it, that all depends on how you uh, do the CC Vector Blur. So the more the way you adjust that to your liking, that's you know that's going to make the difference in how this is all going to look. It's not th this is not one a, a one look deal. You you gotta you play with the CC vector blur and go back to this comp and check things out. You know make li maybe a little bit less uh, angle in it to so they don't cur curl as much. You know it all depends on what you want. I personally like the the inkish look. I mean, it just looks wild. It's just a totally different uh, thing. I, you know, I've just been working with this uh, recently and just learned uh, all about, you know, the, how to get do more track code trails and stuff. But I, I guess I have to get more footage and all that. But I, this is what I've been playing with on the characters using these guys. Cause I, you know, you, it's really this kind of stuff, you know, you kind of need a good key with it. If you have the green screen to do it with, you know, it works really good. Um, you can do it with the the difference mate type, but you have to have a decent key, I think. If it's too messy, it's not going to work very good, I don't think. I mean, it, it'll still work. Particles will still flow. And who knows, it may even work better. But, I, you know, to me, I would think uh, a better, nice, clear outline would just work way better. But there you go. That's... That's another way of doing a trail, so you can play with all these different ideas and find out which one you like. You know, I tried to go into as much detail as possible so you can get the idea of all the possibilities there are and things I play with. But I like, as you can see, how they <coughs> just flow and kind of fade off, you know, and just disappear. I mean, that's that's really cool. <coughs> but you can tweak the speed, the velocity of it, make it go a little slower or faster depending on your taste. You know, so don't, don't be afraid, afraid to play with the few settings that I uh, uh, actually adjusted in there. And your particles per second, you know, maybe turn some of them down, turn them up. So, but there you go. You know, that's uh, another way of doing it. Hopefully that helps.